Okay, so here's the video for how to prepare the uh, cutting board um, for cutting the fabric. So what I have here is the uh, plywood board. Uh, it is 62 inches uh, wide by 30 inches deep. So 62 by 30. Then I also have a uh, cutting measuring stick. I will show you how we're going to use this. I also have uh, three rulers, uh, fabric rulers, and then I also have some uh, binders, and I'll show you how we use those in just a second. Okay, so here's what we're going to need to do. We're going to set the cutting board so that we can have uh, a place what to measure from. So we're going to take one of our uh, measuring tapes and we're going to put it on one side of the cutting board right against the edge. Metric. We're going to then take the paper clip, the binder, and we're going to squeeze it so it sits right there right on the corner, kind of clips it in. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing. On this side, okay. And I raise it so I can hold it. Okay. So there we go. So we got one side done. Okay. Then we're going to go here, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. okay, and the last piece we're going to take and put it across the bottom like this, and we're going to use the same binder. I'm just going to put it over this one. So I hold it down like this. Okay, and we're going to go to this side. Okay, so now we've got three areas of measurement. One, two, three. Okay, and then we take a long stick that's straight. You can get it to be cut from the lumber yard. And all I did, I did this already, is I put it up against this measuring tape and I marked it for every inch so it, it's as long as the entire table. Okay, so here's why this is important. Now, when I want to cut my fabric, okay, and if it's on the roll, okay, then I just unroll it, okay, and so if you put this up against the wall, then it's going to be easy to just roll it out and it's going to be up against the wall. But now I have my cutting platform, my cutting area, okay. I know how many inches I need here. I know how many inches I need to go here. And I also have another set of uh, measuring stick. So for example, if I want to make uh, stuff sacks, and let's just say they're going to be, I can't remember off the top of my head, let's just say they're going to be 18 inches by 10 inches, okay. So then I just come 10 inches here and 10 inches here, and I put my stick, you know, from 10, 10, okay? Then we get the chalk, we hold this down, and we measure this whole section, right? So this is gonna be 10. Then I also know that I want it to be 18 wide, so I can, do this here, and I can say, okay, every 18 inches, I'm going to make a mark. Okay, or better yet, I can even do it like this. 
you know, keeping it here, I do 18 inches. Then another 18 inches is 36 inches. Okay, then another 18 inches is going to be uh, 36 plus 18, 46 plus 8, 54. So 54 inches. Okay, so now remember, Dean, you have this that I left for you. You have this stick like this. So you can, this measuring. So now I can just go here. So come a little bit closer so you see. And I just make sure that it's level here with the fabric and level here. And I've got one. Come here, make sure it's level with the fabric. Two. Come here, make sure it's level with the fabric. Three, okay. So now I've got one, two, three stuff sacks that are 18 by 10. So when I fold the 18 in half, it's gonna be nine by 10, right? But before I cut this, I can do this all over again. So I can do another 10 inches. I can go to 20 and 20, okay. And now watch this because I already have a straight line here. I can just put this up against the straight line and I already know here it is. Same thing here. Straight line. There it is. Straight line. There it is. So now I've created six different stuff sacks that I can cut. And again, you don't have to stop. I would recommend doing as many as you can. Just pull this and then keep doing it so that when it's time to cut, all they have to do is cut. And it's very simple. So I hope this helps.